This is not to deny their beauty and the importance of um, coming together and being a collective um, or um, the various things that you all contribute in the various um, ideas that you work on. But I think it's partly to make clear um, that as a group of leaders, you come at these sets of circumstances differently. Um, and for some of you, there is going to be a challenge of, um, of how do you sort of live in the present um, when you may be circling these issues of the past, whether or not it's questions about power, whether or not it's articulations about difference, um, whether or not it's our um, issues about um, who controls uh, most of the currency um, or the pathways to power where you live. Um, these may have long histories and they may be expressed and put together in ways where you as a youth leader now may be actually having to deal with a lot of that legacy and it may not be forthright. Um, uh, I, I mean, uh, not forthright, but it may not be always so actively um, articulated. Um, we've got a saying that we've been using with other Queen Jung leaders of talking about the ghosts in the room. You know, what are those sorts of things that may be present, but, but kind of not visible. Um, they are part of those undercurrent conversations. You can see it in um, when people come together for climate change or when they come together for other groups. There is this sort of notion that, well, we've got to actually start talking quite um, candidly and usually quite openly about sets of circumstances, especially if we're trying to transform systems um, and imagine a different way of being. Um, so one of the things that we're gonna try to do within um, the Alt Commons is both kind of acknowledge these sets of histories, really try to understand um, that the colonial enterprise, that various issues of imperial conquest, um, that moving into certain spaces, that issues of, around um, enforced labor, um, uh, particular issues around development, particular issues that might be around um, interventions, um, that these are really fraught areas and they deserve our attention in terms of really understanding how they may produce certain sets of relationships among sets of people. But I want us to spend some time not only both thinking about that and acknowledging it, but actually starting to think about what's the work we need to do to transform our societies. So that's yes, working on your individual projects, that's also thinking about how do you sustain and enable this sort of change in the leadership that you want, but also how do we actually collectively cohere ourselves as a kind of, not a new thing, but maybe, maybe something that can sit alongside of the Commonwealth um, as a voluntary um, association. I'm, I think that the, the, the Queen has enabled in some ways by creating um, and, and supporting the Queen's Young Leaders this amazing opportunity for a whole set of youth leaders to now know each other, to work together, to um, champion causes, to actually start to think about themselves as a collective in a very different way than may have been possible, um, just in terms of um, some of the types of structures and interactions that many of you might have belonged to. We know youth councils exist. This isn't a question of um, this being a first opportunity, but it is an opportunity. And I'm really quite keen of starting to imagine what can you do, what can you ask for, and what can you imagine and create, but most importantly, what can you initiate um, to actually start to imagine and make a different kind of future. So we will be thinking about future casting. We will be thinking about what would an alternative commons look like um, built off of the framework of the Commonwealth. I mean, that's the reality of how we've all kind of come together but one that is actually sustained by your own desires and thoughts about what you might want to have in your commons and the way you might want it to work. Um, and really kind of think through a whole set of different sets of things, um, including some of the more difficult things, like starting to map our challenges that we're facing and starting to map the changes that we wanna see in the world. So I wanna thank you for some of your time. I know we've really kind of only touched upon a few sets of issues, but what I hope we've got is at the beginning um, uh, bank that we can start to draw upon as we start to kind of think about both what are the realities of our lives um, and the lives of other people around us that may not be our particular set of life circumstances, but also what are the transformations that we think we might want to see 
um, and then thinking about the ways that we can make that happen. So welcome. <laughs>